We've had an overview, but let's have a look at some of these sections in more detail. At the moment, we are displaying kilometres and we want to change to miles. To change lists, go into the dip and scroll down through to settings. Once in settings, scroll down to units and then scroll down to distance. With this highlighted, press the button again and select miles. Once done and to exit fully, press and hold the return button for the count of two. The LF is equipped with tyre pressure indication, TPI, which will warn you via a pop-up message in the dip if a tyre has a problem and this will need to be calibrated for instance when a tyre has been fitted. Taking a look at the Driver Performance Assistant, or the DPA, which immediately attracts attention and gives a very clear and graphical display of your driving style and is well worth using throughout your day. Bring up the main menu, scroll down to Drive and Support and press the button once. Eco is highlighted, so press this button once. Eco Performance, press again. Now you can see the total of your efficient driving, anticipation, efficient braking and average fuel and we'll be using this system out on the road. To clear any previous score, simply return to Eco Performance and scroll down to Eco Settings. Press the button once, scroll down to Reset Eco Driving, press the button, scrolling back to Yes, Economic Driving is reset. Using the return button, go back to Eco Performance and there you can see that all the values have reset and we will be using this extensively during the driving sections. Enabling the night mode in reverse, bring up the main menu and scroll down to settings. Scroll down to dim settings and now you can see night mode in reverse. This is highlighted, press the button again and select on.